there will be an open door. The Lord is opening up everything that you want to see open in your life, around your family, around your businesses, around your finances. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, the word of the Lord says, I will open the windows of heaven for you and pour out all the blessings you need. My God, the Lord himself was saying he will open the windows of heaven. He will open the windows of his storehouse. He will open the windows of his treasures. He himself would open up the places where your blessings have been stored. And he's telling you today that those blessings will pour forth. Those blessings will come upon your life and you would see them manifested. Those blessings will come upon your household and you would have a cause to rejoice. He didn't say, I'm going to send somebody to open it. He said, I will open the windows for you. I will open the doors of your blessings. He's saying to you today, that place that I've been locked up all of these years, that channel of your breakthrough that has been shut down, he said, I will open it up for you today. He said he will open it and there will be a pouring forth. There will be a flow of the blessings of God upon your life. And I want you to believe this word of God that his blessings are coming because he has opened it. There will be an opening that will cause you to rejoice. The Lord will open his windows. He will open the floodgates of heaven. He will open the doors of heaven. He will open the doors of your breakthrough. He will open the doors to your liberation. There is going to be an open door that will cause you to rejoice. There will be an opening that will cause you to dance. There will be an opening that will cause you to bask in joy. There will be an opening that will put praises, joy, and laughter upon your lips in the mighty name of Jesus. And dear child of God, I want you to know that when the Lord opens the door, no man can shut it. And this door of your blessing that the Lord is opening unto you, there is no one on the face of the earth that will be able to shut it. All those who have been hating on you, all those who have sat upon your blessings, all those who have deprived you of your blessings all of these years, all those who have thought they could keep manipulating all the things that were supposed to come to you, all those who keep changing the real figures of your blessings so as to deprive you of them all, the Lord is saying to you today, I'm opening those channels of your blessings. And when he does open it, no man can shut it, my God. When he does open it, no man can tamper with it. He said in Psalm 78 verse 23, Though he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven, my God. He said he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven, the doors of your treasures, the doors of your breakthrough, the doors of your blessings. He said he had commanded and when the Lord has commanded, no man can alter that command. When the Lord gives a decree, every host of heaven goes out to see that it is manifested. Dear child of God, it will be like a dream of the night, but you'll be hearing congratulations, 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 because the Lord has opened up his windows because the Lord has opened up doors, because the Lord has opened up everything where your blessings are located. My God, the Lord is opening up the treasures of your blessings. As the word of the Lord in Zechariah 11 verse 1 says, Open thy doors, O Lebanon. Their child of God is now time for you to arise and decree and declare, asking the doors that you want to see open, to open up unto you. As the word of the Lord says, Open thy doors, O Lebanon. You can begin to say, Open thy doors to me, O the place of my breakthrough, O the place of my blessings. Mention them as they are. Every doors you want to see open. Is it marital doors you want to see open? Say to it, Open thy doors, O marital blessings, O marital breakthrough. It is time to open the door. Are you asking the Lord, demanding for your own fruit of the womb, asking the Lord for children, 
you can tell right now open thy doors the places where children are stored the places where the heavenly heritage of the lord are stored open those doors because it's my time to receive my blessings it says open thy doors O lebanon are there some things around your life that had been shut down and you are wondering dear child of god decree it and declare asking the doors to be opened and it shall be opened the lord has placed in your mouth the authority at this point in time the lord has placed in your mouth all that you need to have this door open you just need to speak it forth as you want them and nothing can ever oh lord my father nothing can ever stop it though they are adversaries though there are people standing against you standing against your open doors but I want to assure you that you will receive it. Paul had experienced it. He knew there was an opening, but at the same time, he knew there were adversaries. He says that there was an effectual door that has been opened unto him, but there are many adversaries. But do you know what they are child of God? Those adversaries are there to see that God has decided to bless you those adversaries those enemies those people who doesn't want your progress will be there as the lord has opened those doors and they will see you back in your blessings they will see you taking everything that is yours in the mighty name of jesus the lord made sure that those adversaries were there around your open doors so they will see with their very eyes that it is time for the Lord to bless you. It is time for the Lord to open your doors. It is time for the Lord to bring into your hands all that your mouth has been asking him. Oh, they may be adversaries, but do not worry. The Lord wants them to see that the time of your blessings has come. The Lord wants them to behold it with their eyes as well, that it is time for you to be favored. That it is time for you to be uplifted. That it is time for you to be celebrated. That it is time for you to dance. And I want you to know without any doubt in your heart that the Lord will bless you and keep those doors open. Dear child of God, assemble together and take what is yours and possess your possession. No more shall you be denied of your blessings. No more shall you be denied of the things that God has written out and assigned with your name upon it no more shall you be denied the blessings no more shall you be taken out of your place of enthronement in the mighty name of jesus he has called you an overcomer he says that you are more than a conqueror through him that loves you he says you are mighty because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world dear child of god leave us that overcomer that god have made you because you will do great exploit, because you are a mighty soldier before God. You cannot be dismayed. You cannot be slaughtered. You cannot be destroyed. Dear child of God, tell yourself, I'm rising up in victory. I'm rising up as the mighty prince of the Lord. I'm rising up as the soldier of the Most High God, as that end time army. And I will leap through walls to take my blessings, to possess all that are mine. I go out in victory and I take all of my possession. I go out with the might of the Lord and I take what is mine. God have kept some things for me on the face of this earth that I must receive and it is time that I get it. In my sectors, it is time that I get it. In my place of work, it is time that I get it. In my vocation, it is time that I get it. Everything assigned to me within my vicinity, within my place of influence that I have not been able to receive, Lord, I take them today. Lord, I possess them all. Open your mouth and say, Lord, everything that you have written out with my name upon it, with the name of my family upon it, I send the heavenly host of dispatchers to send them to me, to bring them to where I am, and you must receive it. He says, call those things that be not as though they were. Dear child of God, you ought to stand your ground. You ought to tell yourself, we are winning this battle. You ought to tell yourself we are prepared and we must win this war. We are waking up our mighty men. We are waking up that mighty strength that God has placed inside of us and we will draw near to our victories. We cannot relent now. We cannot give up now. It is time to take all 
that is ours. The word of God in Joel chapter 3 verse 9 says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. You are telling yourself. You are telling your family. You are telling everyone connected to you. It is time that we wake up. It is time that we arise. It is time that we stand because our light is breaking forth and our light must shine. The word of God says, Arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has been risen upon thee. The child of God, you are mighty, you are strong, and you have a special strength to do great exploit for the Lord. Because you know God, he says you will be strong and you will do exploit. Dear child of God, do not allow mediocrity in your life anymore. Tell yourself, I must do exploit. So I'm waking up the giant in me and waking up that grace that God has placed inside of me that may have gone to sleep all of these years. All of my mighty men, everything that God has placed inside of me to achieve greatness that have not seen the light of the day, this day they are rising up and they are standing to take what is theirs. My family, my children, my loved ones, everyone connected to me are taking up what is theirs. No more shall we be denied our blessings. No more shall we be denied our possession. No more shall we be kept away from the blessings that God had already sent to us. It is time that I take my possession. It is time that I take what is mine. I know what is mine. I know what God has said he will prepare for those that love him. And I have not seen it for all of these years because I had gone to sleep. Now I rise in victory. Now I stand out and I stand strong. I stand tall to receive all that are mine. He said, Assemble yourselves and come all ye Eden and gather yourselves together round about. Teter cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Joel chapter 3, verse 11. He says, Cause thy mighty men to come down. So you are telling yourself, We are gathering up to take what is mine. We are gathering up to take what is ours. I go to take my possession and I will receive it in full. Zechariah chapter 10 verse 7 says, And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, my God. It says, And they of Ephraim, you will tell yourself, and those of my family, call the name of your family, call the name of your loved ones that you want to see God makes mighty. It says, And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Here their children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. Dear child of God, you have every right to rejoice in the Lord. You have every right to see that your family are rejoicing in the Lord. You have every right to see that your loved ones are rejoicing in the Lord. You have every right to see that everyone connected to you are receiving the fullness of the blessings that God have assigned to them. So you are telling them, it is time that we go to the place where we will receive our rejoicing in the Lord because it has been kept, it has been preserved and we shall receive it. We shall get all that is ours and we will receive the victory as God had assigned them in the mighty name of Jesus. No more room to lament. No more room to sorrow, no more room to cry because God has given us the victory, because God is taking us to a place of elevation, because God is taking us to a place of victory, because God is taking us to a place of internal heritage. God, we acknowledge you. We know that you have made us heavenly beings, like you said in your word. Acknowledge the Lord, you heavenly beings. Acknowledge the Lord's majesty and power. So I go to acknowledge you, knowing that you have made me in your image and in your likeness. And you said that I'm a God. In Psalms 82 verse 6, he said, you are God's. Oh God. He says, every one of you, every member of your family, everyone connected to you, he says that they are sons of the Most High God. They are child of God. It is time that you take what the sons take, this heritage. These blessings are meant for the sons of the kingdom and you are one of those that God have assigned 
to receive these blessings, to receive this honor, to receive this favor that God had already destined from the onset of time. From the beginning of time, you had these blessings well written out with your name upon it. So you are going to take the land. You are well able. You are well able to take what is yours, dear child of God. You have been given the special strength of the Lord to go possess your possession. So like Joshua and Caleb, who will tell themselves, we know that we are well able. Looking at the situation of things, it doesn't look like we are well able. But I know that God has placed a special strength inside of us to receive all that are ours. And we are taking that land. We are taking our blessings. We are taking our possession. It is all that the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Their child of God, begin to call every single thing that you want to see happen in your life. And they must happen. They will be your possession and they will remain in your hands. No more shall you be denied of all of those things that are yours. No more shall you be denied of the blessings that God have said are yours from the very beginning. It is time you possess all that are yours and you must possess each and every one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Obadiah 121, deliver us will assemble on Mount Zion to George Esau's mountain and to the Lord will the kingdom belong. Dear child of God, the kingdom belongs to the Lord and you have your share of it because you are the heritage of God. Kingdom belongs to the Lord and you have your right of the possessions. Dear child of God, take all that are yours because you cannot be denied anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. You will receive your share of your inheritance because you are co-heir with Christ. You will receive your share of your blessings and your joy will be full. The Lord will bless you and ensure that until you say, Father, it is enough, they will not be shut. Those windows will be open unto you because he himself had opened it up. He says, I will open the windows of heaven for you and pour all the blessings you need as long as you need them, as much as you need. He said, I will pour every single need of yours he will meet and this is what i want you to know today he said he had opened up the windows for you he said he had opened up the doors of your blessings and he will pour forth all that you need every single one of them is it a marital breakthrough the lord is pouring them forth to you is it financial turnaround the lord is pouring them forth to you is it love and affection the lord is pouring them forth to you is it increase in your establishment the lord is pouring them forth to you dear child of god the lord has opened his doors and his windows of blessings and you will testify you would have a reason to rejoice and to dance because he has done it in jesus mighty name amen it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom